looking for the Leoe volume of the Tevet Travel Guide. Do you have it in stock? Sorry, dear. We stopped stocking that a very long time ago. It just wasn't selling. Huh? But the Mondstadt volume was so interesting. Bummer. She's lying about that. <laughs> and I still sent him the odd out-of-print book or two every now and then. Did somebody say out-of-print books? Who? Is there a chance that Volume 6 of Legend of the Shattered Halberd is also in his collection? I've had my heart set on getting hold of a copy of Legend of the Shattered Halberd, Volume 6, for the longest time now. No! To pay off my debts, I had no choice but to pawn off my beloved book collection. Every last book. Do you have any idea what that means? <sighs> It's useless ranting and raving at you like this. All I can do is try to save enough Mora to buy them back. How about I just give him some Mora? I literally have more than 700,000 Mora in my bank account right now. I, I would legit just pay all of them. Just you wait. You'll be sorry you crossed me. And you, Chang? You're selling that core lapis whether you like it or not. How about I just give this guy a core lapis? I can literally just pay for this guy's books and I can give this guy a core lapis. I can solve all these people's problems right now. I gotta hand it to the goofball clan. What you lack in numbers and talent you make up for in guts. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say goofball clan? I meant goo-hua clan. <laughs> That's what you goofballs call it, right? <laughs> I may be young, my liege. But the path I have chosen makes me no stranger to conflict. Why should I cower in the face of evil? Oh, great speech. <laughs> but now it's time for you to learn your lesson. Oh, these dudes about to duke it out. Let's go. There you are, oh, oh, I play as her. Over here. Oh. Oh, she is sick. Are you sure you're not just using us as your errand runners? Wow. So that's how that turned out. This whole passage is just... extraordinary. Ugh, this guy is so annoying! Paimon just wants to slap him right in his stupid face! Paimon gets to pick an ugly nickname for him! Oh boy. Alright, let's see what she... Let's see what Paimon gives this guy. From now on, he shall be known as... Gua Geek! Uh, could have been better. <sighs> the master's been working on a major business deal recently. He left early this morning to meet with a VIP client. So, where is he now? I'm sorry. The master is stressed that we must not disclose that information to just anyone. Just anyone? Are you saying we're not his VIP clients? Uh, uh, no. I, I I mean, yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> I, I, I meant no offense. P please, believe me. <laughs> well, my master has much more important things to do than talking to rude guards like you. <laughs> Look at the face that I'm making. <laughs> we shall see when the time comes. <laughs> Darn that old man Chang. So, Mr. Gentry Mozai is colluding with the Fatui. Oh boy. You didn't notice anything, okay? There is no need for you to read the contents of the letter. When the time comes... Ugh, this writing is super hard to read. Oh. Python can't make heads or tails of it. Let me give this a read. Can he actually read this thing? Is it even written in the common tongue? Honored guests, you must both be wary from your long journey. Please allow the Feiyun Commerce Guild to be your host for tonight. Wait, 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 what? Please rest assured that the matter written about has been duly received. We just need some time to prepare. What what did what did he write in this letter? The Gua Geek is really, really making us do all of his work. Traveling across the country for this. While he's reading his book like he's Kakashi or something. My family can always tell me from my handwriting. It's certainly one of my distinguishing features. Yikes! Paimon's been calling you Guhua Geek this whole time! Paimon read in one of these martial artist novels that when rich heirs like you get angry at someone, you have their arms and legs chopped off! Uh... <laughs> Paimon's toast! And sorry! Very sorry! Please don't hurt Paimon! <laughs> my ore is sold, and my treasured books have returned. I can't believe it! Uh... <laughs> what was that? Child is currently at Leoli Pavilion. 
What is that? Oh, oh, Paimon knows this one. All right, tell me then, Paimon. Ahem. There are two styles of cooking in Lira, known as Lee style and Yui style. For centuries, but neither has emerged as a clear winner. The restaurant of the Lee style is the Lily Pavilion. The owner especially chose to open the restaurant and pay your insults with the Shinoi kiosk, which is the flagship restaurant of the Yui style. You were like this every time we talk about food. Don't talk to Paimon like that. <sighs> Ooh, who is this? Hi. <sighs> hmm? He's hmm. interesting. Is Wangshan some kind of business involving dealing with people? Uh, <laughs> indeed. It is as you have guessed. Oh, no. The Wongsheng Funeral Parlor organizes burials. We ensure that those who pass on do so in peace. Oh, I just realized his voice. His voice is deep. Damn, I did not expect that voice. Huh? As you have seen, the time of the Adepti is ending, and the time of mankind is slowly dawning. In years past, Liu's tradition was that a huge memorial service be held to mark the passing of every Adeptus. But this time, the Qixing have made no attempt whatsoever to respect this tradition. It is sacrilege. We will speak of the details as we walk. I do like his voice. His voice is very... All right, very low. my bridge building work... After having experienced the land of the absentee Archon, Traveler... How does it feel to know that our Archon and Adepti are here all around you in Liyue? Oh, I have to make a choice? I can either say I like Mondstadt or Liyue better. Ooh. Ooh. I don't think Venti would like me saying Liyue is the better place. Uh, I'm sorry, Venti, but Liyue, I like Liyue too much, man. Please don't hate me for this, Venti. Indeed. The weight of 3,700 years worth of history runs deepest in the true divinity of Liu. These are the advanced funds that Child has provided. If you use them up, you can go to him to apply for any subsequent funding. Wow! <laughs> Look at that smile. <laughs> Pick whichever one you like. These three pieces really do look pretty. Not like the ones you usually dig up. But how do we pick? Should we just grab one and go? What is what does he think? He's an expert at this, probably. Oh? You want me to decide? That is fine as well. If it were me, the answer would be simple. Oh? And that would be... I'll take them all, boss. Uh, hey! If we only need one for the ritual, aren't we wasting three times the Mora if we buy them all? Mora? Hmm. It is as you say. I suppose I overlooked this particular aspect of the transaction. Does this guy not understand money? If one must always consider Mora before acting, then in all things one is bound by Mora. All Mora is currency, but not all currency is Mora. What? <laughs> Same. Yeah, honestly, it just sounds like he's loaded. This guy literally has so much money, he doesn't think about the amount of money that he spent. He's literally like Bill Gates. Totina pizza rolls. 22. <laughs> We're back to buy some rocks, boss. But can you let us burn them first? Uh, burn them? You can't do that, my friends. If you were to do so, what would I have to sell? They're not buying any. <laughs> not buying? Oh, come, come now, my good friends. We can still discuss this. It's either I get to burn it or no deal. Well, guess we just need to find a place to try this out. I remember the spot in Dapu de Gorge. Dadapu? That wait, wait, that Dada Dadapua, I think. Dada da, 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 you know what, forget it. There's still soup in here! These hilly trolls sure have big appetites. What kind of soup is that? That's just water. That is rainwater. Now that we've made our choice, let's take this Noctilucus Jade back. Hey, wait a minute! He said it was half price, not that we could leave without paying! Oh, right, I'm sorry. I must have forgotten to do that too. Let me see. This guy really, really does just not care about money. I have already rented this location, 
and have begun making preparations for the rite. So we're using the, we're using the scene of the crime to send him off. The Liu Achising have agreed to this arrangement. But when something this big happened here, should suspects like us really be at the crime scene? We might get caught by the Millilin. Yeah, like the guys that are in the background and like all around us right now. Golden House. The only mint in Liu, which is to say the only mint into that. All the mora that flows throughout the world is minted there. Wow. There's that smile again. Silk flowers exhibit different properties based on how their environmental conditions differ from their ancestral habitats. Look at the abundant foliage here. And these stamens, glamorous as a maiden of the golden house. This strain is an ethnic variety, thrives in any dark, damp location, often in large clusters. Morphologically, it is distinguished by the profusion of metal, and when in season, it has a subtle yet enduring scent. It was first discovered by the ancients when they scaled the mountains in search of the Adepti. Wow! A true connoisseur! Most of that was news even to me. I just forgot everything that he just said. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now that's settled. A question. <clears throat> Are you... <sighs> dude. Do you have any mora on you? Are you serious, dude? You know you what? forgot to bring money again? <sighs> Song Lee. <laughs> <laughs> this guy forgets his money so often. You'd think he, he, you would think he was just an old man. But even then, I'm pretty sure like old dudes just have like... 10 or 20 dollars sitting around in their pocket or something. Lan, we need to ask you for a favor. I stopped accepting commissions a long time ago. Sorry you too, but you'll just have to ask another adventurer. Oh, it's not that kind of favor. It's just a teeny tiny thing. You smell great? <laughs> that's, a little, that's a little weird to say. Since I usually set up my stall by the docks, I avoid perfume like the plague. Because Celestia forbid those lusty sailors catch a whiff and come hunting for the source. Oh, Jesus, okay. That's the worst thing Paimon's heard all day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Better than anything you'll find on the market. Great! This is just the intel we need. Finally, we're getting somewhere. What is that kid doing in the background? What are you doing? Get out of the camera, kid! We're filming here! Actually, no, that would actually be a good, good thing because, I mean... Oh! Relax. I know why you're here. You want to get your hand on my homemade perfume, don't you? What kind would you like? Ooh, hold on. A best folk triple silk flower variety, or whichever one you're wearing. <laughs> I'm not wearing any, darling. What? Could it be that you've been bewitched by my natural scent? If so, I'm afraid it's one of a kind. <sighs> Whatever this is, you guys need to snap out of it right now. Hand her the silk flowers. Okay, this girl is crazy. This girl is absolutely insane. I, I don't want to. I don't want to be here any anymore. Traveler, you can be my assistant, but you'd better make sure I'm the only person on your mind while you're hanging around with me. Okay, this girl is dangerous. This girl is very dangerous. I've had a word with Chef Mao. We can start work now. Are you ready to please me? Now, I need you to extract the silk flower essence using a crafting bench. Perfume making uses an altogether different technique from alchemy. Here, let me teach you. Very carefully, take hold of the mortar and pestle. Gently does it. You need to keep your wrist firm so your hand doesn't slip. Now, use your strong hand to stir it with a persistent rhythm. Keep going until the juices start to come out. I'm speechless right now. Okay, I get it. Ooh, you're a natural, like a fish to water. Man, you know what? I need to find a girlfriend, dude. So please, focus on controlling the heat. This is the final step. Don't waste a drop of that essence now. We want all of it in there. Okay. A testament to the lengths you will go to for romance. It's so rare to see nowadays. Romance? Wait a minute. Hold on. I told you it's not like that. I was thinking of you the whole... <laughs> wow, you actually remembered my throwaway comment. <laughs> you know... You're cuter than people give you credit for. If I didn't have my guard up, I can see how easily one could be taken in. What? I'll leave you with some parting words. Okay. One who tries to sail three boats simultaneously should be careful not to go overboard. 
Okay. Yeah, I agree, actually. The third kind has a gentle but lingering fragrance. Something, something like the dusk mist. And it's a favorite of mature ladies. Oh, I guess. Oh, what was that? I guess he likes the mature one. Does that mean that Rex Lapis is actually an older lady? So have we been misgendering Rex Lapis this entire time? Shit. See this ceramic teapot? My entire household is in here. Wait, what? Wait, what? Huh? How does that work? It contains your house keys, the bell is all you own, and you go, Paimon! <laughs> There's no way Paimon would fit in there! I simply mean that the bell is somewhere inside this teapot, and you are quite welcome to borrow it. If you can find it. Watch, you're gonna be teleported to like some magical fantasy world inside this teapot. Oh, yep, I knew it. I knew it. You know, with such a special teapot and the cleansing bell, do you think this old granny could also be an adeptus? That's what I was thinking, actually, yeah. So, why would I be unwilling to lend you the bell? What if he doesn't return it? Oh? Well, if it came to that, <laughs> they would find a certain old lady knocking at their door. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> oh. I shall take these back with me. As for the payment. As for the payment, he says. Well, allow me. Hey, child! Yay, finally, we can actually pay for something. You probably won't want to let Zhang Li do the bargaining, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Hmm, seems I missed out on some interesting information. Ah, uh, so he does have ulterior motives. I suppose I'll just have to find a more opportune moment next time. Let me tell you how it is. Toe. help? Tack. Tick. Wait, what were the other names? Toe and tack. It's tic tac toe. Okay, you know what? This game's got jokes. Huh. The reception is deserted. And it seems kind of spooky in here. Hello? Is anybody there? Welcome to Boo Boo Pharmacy. I can't. <laughs> huh? D did you hear that? Where did it come from? The reception, it seems. Oh. oh. So many it's just a short girl. But no cure for heartache. Aww. What's the talisman doing on her forehead? It can't be. She's a zombie. A zombie? Wait, what? Once upon a time, Chi Chi died. What? Go to Mount Tianhung, find the Guizhong Ballista, and hunt a cocoa goat. Please and thank you. A cocoa goat. What the heck is a cocoa goat? Quick, Mr. Zhongli, use your unlimited high society knowledge powers. Hmm. You almost make it sound like I'm some sort of bourgeois parasite whose only utility lies in providing quaint pieces of trivia on demand. I mean, unless you're going to start paying for stuff, then I guess that's what you're going to be limited to. Now, how do we turn it on? It's easy enough. We simply need to do this. Look, it even has a scope. Over here we have nothing. And over there, more nothing. Oh. Hey, just what do you think you're doing? So you fixed up this turret because you're planning to do what exactly? Not a turret, a Guizhong Ballista. Also, kindly state your name before you ask a question. It's just good manners. <laughs> Are you blind or something? You're looking at the leader of the treasure hoarders. These guys really thought they could just like kill dudes with visions. Like you guys have throwing knives and shovels. I can literally summon a tornado and you guys are still trying to face me. Forgive us. We were unable to fulfill our end of the contract. We found no trace of the Coco Goat Adepta Beast of which you speak. <sighs> what a disappointment. Chi Chi? Why does Paimon 
feel so guilty all of a sudden. Do you have any other clues? Cocoa goat milk is tasty. So tasty. Much better than normal goat milk. I'm sorry. I have a poor memory. I cannot remember the name of the milk. That's why I wrote it down. Here, this is the name. Coconut milk. Coconut milk? You wanted us to go out and like hunt for a cocoa goat so we so you can make coconut milk? Excuse me everyone. Did Chi Chi say a bad thing? No no no, it's okay, Chi Chi. Oh sorry, but Paimon's gonna leave the job of shattering this poor kiddo's world to you. What? <laughs> Why don't you talk to her a kid to kid or something? God man. It's time to tell you where coconut milk comes from. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? Someone learnt a valuable life lesson today, then. Thank you all for looking after my little Chi-Chi. I'm Baiju, boss of the Boo Boo Pharmacy. A discount Orochimaru. Do you sell everlasting incense in this fine establishment? Everlasting incense? Why, of course we do. Whew, at last. Things are finally starting to come together. Three million more. Top quality. Guaranteed. Are you serious? Is this the part where we go crawling back to child? Probably shouldn't. Or, <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Coco goat. Coco goat. <laughs> my sides hurt. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe you fell for that. I hate it. You know what? Thank you, child. I look forward to a successful collaboration in the future. I can give you a discount on that everlasting incense, too. Let's say 2,990,000 mora. Come on, dude. Ah, that lot is an absolute riot. Honestly, I can't remember the last time I laughed so hard. So, you've been eavesdropping, I hope. What have I missed? Yes, Master oh, Child. Oh, boy, yeah. They spoke of the Qixing taking the Golden House. I apologize, but I warned you, didn't I? As the old Leo is saying goes, the walls have ears. Of course, yeah. do not know not to trust him at all. Well, I'll leave you to ruminate over it yourself. As to remuneration for your help, I've decided to treat you to a meal. Zhang Li treating us to a meal? Amazing. At last I have found you. You who returned from Juayun Karst. Who's there? Wait, I am not with the Millilith. Nor am I here to claim your bounty. However, I am an emissary of the Liyue Achising. My name is Ganyu, secretary at the Yua High Pavilion, and I have come specifically to meet you. I have with me a letter from Lady Ningguang. She extends a formal invitation to you in her capacity as Tianquan. She invites you to her palace in the sky. Lady Ningguang said this, Invite him to come here. I wish to meet him. At the Jade Chamber, Together, we shall snip every one of these entwining dark threads. Oh, that was it? But we've received an invitation from the Liu at Qixing. Paimon still can't believe it. We'll be meeting people that have way more money than Paimon could ever count. We should be on our best manners. Alright. Is that it? That's literally it. I, okay. Well, 